to On the Scene mm-hmm. with Patricia McDougal, celebrity photographer. And I have my host, Shantana. Good morning. Good afternoon. How are you today? Good afternoon. And I also have a special guest all the way from Haiti, Lionel DeGrantis, right? Nice to be here. Yes, and another guest on the left as well. How you say, Shana? Shana. <laughs> and a special guest over here as well. I am Nia Thompson. Mm-hmm. Nia Thompson in the house from Howard, right? Howard University yes. School of Nursing. Nursing. Yeah, so we are so happy to have you here. So we have a full day, so we're going to get started here. Um, so much um, happening this week. But first, I want to talk about one special person here. We're going to start off with Lionel, right? He is, we, this is a treat for us because he's going to tell us all about the exciting things that went on at um, Howard University as well as um, we were over there at the, I'm not sure what the name of the building is, but I'll let him tell you because I have all my notes here, okay? <laughs> but anyway, we had a wonderful time. I'm going to let him start off with introducing mm-hmm. you to the event uh, at Howard. I came to participate in the event that uh, was organized at Howard University. Uh, the 21st anniversary of the uh, Women's Ambassador Organization. And they had a program which was very interesting uh, with music and uh, speeches and important personalities like ambassadors of some countries from Central Europe, from Northern Europe, and some ambassadors from Africa. He also uh, like Ivory Coast. Uh, Ivory Coast, ambassador yes, the ambassador from Ivory Coast definitely was in the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was absolutely wonderful. And the pictures you see there are some of the pictures we took wonderful. at the, uh, the event um, that was held by Marilyn, right? Marilyn Sefok is she, the uh, founder of this organization. And she gave some awards to some specific. Special people, including special women, yes, like yeah. a Jan, Layla, Layla, Jai, and Jan Duplain. Jan was here. Jan Duplain, yes, she, she also. She is the yes. director of the Africa, is part of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Yes, that is correct. Right. Then we had some dancers, and mm. I mean, we had some singers. The the singers you heard earlier. Um, they were absolutely fabulous, and I just had to share that with you. And so there's another lady right there. She does a lot with Haiti. She's actually from Haiti, mm-hmm. <laughs> the one on the left. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yes, I know Yes, that. so we got to meet um, so many people from so many different parts of the world. Uh, the and that Ghana right there queen. is a queen, right? Queen from Ghana. <laughs> queen from Ghana. She was absolutely mm-hmm. stunning and in the house. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you do while you're in there in Haiti. In Haiti, I'm teaching geopolitics and the geography of the big powers, like the the geography of the three portions of the world uh, that uh, have 80% of the income of the world. Wow. U.S. and Canada, part of it in in America, Mm -hmm. uh, the Western Europe and Central Europe, and also the East Asia, the okay. Asia. Oh, okay. okay. Like China and Japan and other new industrialized countries, like the what we call the Dragon, uh, Taiwan, South Korea, um, Hong Kong, and the fourth one is uh, Singapore. Singapore, wow. And then you Look have that. also... The, what we call the tigers, the baby tigers. Okay. Indonesia, Malaysia, and other new industrialized country in Asia. Okay. Between those countries, there is some special links. They are the industrialized and developed countries of the world. And they share 80% of the world income. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Now, how long have you been teaching now? Uh, I've been teaching since I was 22. I was, I was. <laughs> and he's 25 now, right? <laughs> 22. 22. 22. Wow. And in Haiti, a law school and a, I had a double major: law school and teachers' college. 
Wow. And after I finished that, I was recruited to teach in Congo, Republic Democratic of Congo. Wow. With wow. the money I accumulated from Congo, I went to Paris, to the Sorbonne, mm -hmm. for three years to get a license, a, a BA, and a master at the Institute of Geography okay. in Paris. Wow. Okay. So you guys got a treat today. We do. These young ladies are going to, to Haiti what, in June, right? Yes, in June. They're mm -hmm. actually going to be going to, to Haiti. They're from Howard University. Nice We're going so on that our yes. Isn't that awesome? Yes. So I was actually on campus doing so many different things, <laughs> and I happened to be posting some you know, posters up in yes. her, in the building of nursing, right? Yes. And here they go. They had this delicious chocolate cake, and I couldn't resist. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, so I said, well, what do you do? And then I found out. I go, well, you need to just come on the show and tell everybody what you do. So yeah. it's awesome. So you'll have to let him know what you do. So make sure that when you get to Haiti, you can look him up, and he yes, can, of you know, maybe Most give definitely. you some connections and directions and everything mm -hmm. else. How yeah. long are you gonna be in Haiti? For? We're gonna be in Haiti for two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Yes. Two weeks. Wow. I'll so be looking forward to seeing you there. I'll be looking forward. Isn't that <laughs> something? <laughs> yeah. So so she's here because we're going to a you talk a little closer. Uh-huh. We're going to Haiti for an international uh, medicine rotation for two weeks. So we're going to be in Haiti providing care for the um, um, underprivileged um, community. So we're going to be nursing student, medical student, dentistry student. Isn't so awesome? wow. it happens See? every year. So yeah. Wow. That's so wonderful. Now, how many, uh, how many medical students are going with you? Well, I don't know if I say how many medical students, but it's four nursing students, and there's one here with me, oh. Nia oh. Thomas. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I believe there are 15 medical students um, going with us okay. on the trip. Mm -hmm. So basically, Haiti's facing a lot of healthcare disparities. So mm -hmm. we're just going over there to try to alleviate some of that okay. and go help the people out. That's our number one mission, just oh, to wow. take care of that. That's a beautiful mission. Yes. Yes. So, they need, mission. so they need your support is we, what is there. We why they're most here today. definitely need so your all support. The support. So if you know anybody that wants to have a, support the team of group and, and yes. these young ladies on helping them make their mission. And we made a GoFundMe. So you we're, did. we're, we're, oh, we're oh, looking really. for, <laughs> we're so let posting them know. Let them know where you they can find you. You are next to you. You are next to somebody uh, who is the border of some uh, people who have a foundation under my elder border. Uh -huh. They take care of people in a, in a medical way. Mm -hmm. So that's a health center. Yes. In my native town in Petit See? See? Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful is that. We would be glad to have you there. Thank you. See? Isn't make that, sure you got his in contact information. Well, I'll make sure I get it before I leave. <laughs> well, why don't you say what the GoFundMe site is? It's yes. the GoFundMe. Let me put up the link. One second. Well, they can't see it. Yeah, you're going to pull it up. Yes. yes. And then and then while you're pulling up the link, why don't you tell us about what this is? Is that turned around? Can they see the front of that? Can you turn it so they can of see course. the name of it? Yeah, so tell us. What is a that? Haiti is a very special country in the Caribbean. Okay. But I was going to say something about the Caribbean in general before coming to the specific case of Haiti. Yes. But Haiti is a conservatory of Africanism. Mm -hmm. Somebody said about Haiti that heureux, I would say it in, you French, say it first. in French first, heureux <laughs> analphabetism. Because of they were illiterate. Mm -hmm. The Haitian population. And because Haiti was isolated, mm -hmm. yes. there was an embargo against Haiti just after the independence for 60 years. Okay. In 1804, we got the independence, and the U.S. recognized Haiti just after the civil war, the secession, the, the secession war in, nine, in 1865. Wow. So 60 wow. years at least after we got the independence. And mm -hmm. Frederick Douglass was the first representative of the U.S. in Haiti. Oh, my. Okay. Wow. So because of the isolation, uh, the population of Haiti didn't get a... a mm -hmm. Or do you say that in you English? can say it in French. I'm sure they be. French is listening in. We have so national I'm going to need yeah. you to teach me French. Did they get, <laughs> did they get the acculturation? Okay. So yes. they are 
like I said, a conservatory of Africanists. Yes. That's why they have that creativity in painting, mm -hmm. like okay. naive painting, and in sculpting a uh, wood oh, and show the, the other thing. Show the paintings there. Yeah, Why don't course, you do that? Because you have some lovely <laughs> paintings there. This is nice, right? Is this one right here? Yes, yeah, so tell us a little bit about that one right there. <laughs> Yes, Pe turn it so Peter, can you see this one? Peter, Peter, Peter Lewis, an American, awesome. discovered that kind of painting in at, at the end of the 40s, 40s, 1940s. Wow. He, he developed, he created a center where the artists came. But men, men, the main artists who came there mm -hmm. were some Unga, some priests, Voodoo priests. Oh, and they were really? they weren't they didn't go, go to school. Mm. Wow. They were good in their painting because they didn't have the opportunity to get acculturated. I see. Okay? That's why I said it is a uh, ac you can an, say an it in French. It's same okay. French. <laughs> an alphabetist. Yes. Yeah. Now, can you interpret that? No, I'm just no. Like, <laughs> she just I'm going to need French she lesson after this radio Why show. Why say that, right? <laughs> because of the alf alf an alphabetist, they weren't the acculturated. Yes. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. So we have another painting here. Tell us a little bit about that. This one uh, is something utilitarian, some uh, piece but it's an art piece also at yeah. the same time. So they, they have them a lot, but what is specific, you don't find them in the other islands in the area. Mm, I okay? see. They develop that mm. in Haiti mainly. That's beautiful, that's, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Now is this piece right here another one? Yes, because that's, that's, that's beautiful. That's really wow. Made, where you carry glasses to sell Mm. Some, a drink to somebody. Absolutely yes. stunning. Wow, really look at promise. that. Looks like a bird of prey. That is the bird that of prey. That is a bird isn't of prey, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, what is the, just curious, what is the uh, flower, symbolic flower of Haiti? That tropical flower. That's the right there. Tropical, right? Right tropical there. flower, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, we thank you for sharing all the information yes, that nice. you gave. So you want to let us know how, if somebody wants to find you in your country, to in Haiti, to, you know, maybe talk a little bit about more of what you do and collaborate. I, I am teaching at the, uh, the school that prepare diplomat and consular uh, personnel. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a private school, private mm. university. And at the same time, since a, a year ago, I started being a civil servant. But I used to be, I, I was a civil servant in 18, uh, in, 19, mm. in 1988. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. I came back to my country in 86, being the deputy secretary of the Christian Democratic Party okay. with Professor Leslie Maniga, who yes. was the Secretary General of the party. I was on Deputy Secretary General of the party, uh, the Christian Democratic Party. We won the election uh, in 88, and I became the Chief of Staff of the President in 1988. But wow. we were, the government was overthrown five months later by the militaries. Oh so I had to, went to go back to Ivory Coast. Oh, wow. Ah. Well, I'm because sure that they like you in Ivory Coast, too. <laughs> oh, I, I love Ivory Coast. Oh, beautiful country, beautiful beaches. Actually, yeah. Yes, the ambassador said he was going to come on the show. So hopefully um, soon, maybe like in about two more weeks, <laughs> after he uh, has a special guest that's visiting from the Ivory Coast. So, so is it a website, so yes. the website that oh, you can share website? with our audience? They can visit? Do you have a website you want to share or anything? Mm -hmm. Or I can give them further details later. Mm -hmm. We'll That's provide great. that after the show. How about we do that? Well, we thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming on to the show. We really appreciate that. I'm glad to be with you. And the mm -hmm. ladies here, I mean, we are so happy that you're here as well. So thank we thank you. you too. Yes. And I finally found my website. Uh, <laughs> I was where? Oh, yeah. I please share that website. I have to share. Okay. So it's www.gofundme.com slash V F Y C Z U five W. Wonderful. So, wonderful. Any contribution 
can't help. We would Please you. support we the ladies because they're going to come back next time with some cake, right? Yes, <laughs> we're so cake. <okay. laughs> we'll be having another bake they're sale, have this, a bake Friday. sale this Friday. Friday. Where, where are you going to have the sale? Um, in the we'll me- be in front of CNOS, which is the um, College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences on Howard University. I believe it's um, off of 6th Street. Okay. So right off of 6th okay. Street. And well, also, after you finish with your mission in Haiti, hope you guys will come back. Okay. And Talk about it. Yes. And we'll bring yeah. lots yeah. of pictures. Oh, <laughs> you look forward to and be that. sure to visit, you know, right? Yes. We'll have to connect. We'll from the 9th yeah. to the 20th. The 9th to the 20th. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, I hope to visit Haiti one day <laughs> soon. So I'm sure I'm going to be invited by one of somebody. <laughs> yeah. <right>. Hopefully. <laughs> so Hopefully you invite us. The pictures on the scene. <laughs> So uh, why don't we um, talk a little bit about, I know there was a lot of things going on in Howard because your guest is not here yet. Mm-hmm. And right. Rue, he's actually, he's um, one of our co-hosts mm-hmm. and he's not here right now. He had a flat tire, oh. but he's actually from Haiti. Oh. So, but normally he's here and so we want to give a shout out. We're sorry that he has a flat tire, but mm-hmm. he'll be able to see the show and listen in on this, mm-hmm. um, this special, special guest we have here, <laughs> yeah. especially being from his country. So that, how cool is that, it right? Is nice. Lovely. So can we just show a few pictures? I don't know, um, my other guest here, Camille, she's not in the house yet, but she will be shortly. So mm-hmm. can we show some pictures with the children from um, Howard University? Um, they had a recital yesterday. And these are the young children. So, you know, it was really, really special and a treat to see them. They actually Uh performed. There you go. And they were, isn't they? Aren't they so cute? cute. And Uh that's my, all all the kids of the, the, I say, (laughs) the mothers of the children of Howard University social work. And that's one of my grandson Uh there, too. And yes, and Dean Crew in the house. And that we actually went to have food over there around the corner. And, I'm just oh, having cute. fun. Those She's are so Julie's weird. kids. Oh, yeah. Cute. So it oh. was so much fun. <laughs> what oh, a special occasion is this? Every year at the end of the year, they have a recital at Howard University. Okay. And so they all came out, and, and that's one of their professors. As a matter of fact, I have a little video of them that I'm going to show, too, um, showing them uh, doing a little skit. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we're actually, um, Shantana is going to talk about the Thai New Year. Yeah, How about that? It's a that? special treat this month. You know, April 13th is a big water festival in Thailand. If any of you, have you guys ever been to Thailand? No. Anybody no. not yet? <laughs> you have to put in your bucket list one of the beautiful beaches down there. So every, every, um, uh, month in April, they have over millions of tourists would come to Thailand, visit mm-hmm. Thailand for the water festival. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, we're gonna show some photo. Mm-hmm. You see that everywhere you go, people throw water at each other. Wow. Why, <laughs> why water? Yeah. Right here actually I as- I wasn't throwing water down there. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a bit cool today. So this actually at uh, Wat Thai, Washington, DC, 
I think at least 2,000 people were there. To, today, this morning, I was there, and I had an opportunity to interview with uh, one of uh, Her Excellency, um, Royal Thai em Embassy Minister of Mission. Mm -hmm. So she just flew in from Thailand wow, and attended the event. Beautiful. This is beautiful. some of the tra traditional Thai dancing. Uh, Thai dancer in Thailand, and uh, some of these young ladies are here. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our special guests. She will be here. Oh, wow. In a few yes. minutes. She just got lost from somehow. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> well, well, we welcome that. We, we're excited that you're able to show yeah. some of the footage from, um, you know, Thai down on the mall. That was on the mall today, right? Actually, at what? Is, what is it at over already? What Thai Washington did? It's still on. It's oh, actually. Oh, well, you need to go on down there yeah. then if you want to <laughs> see all the fun stuff. They have a parade and everything, right? They had a parade? They wow. Had parades. They had parades. And I love Thai food. Well, look yeah, at that. The papaya see? salad and the sticky rice. <laughs> 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 what about Pad Thai and Pad Kapow? Do you know what it is? I don't know the name. Do <laughs> 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 you have some dessert with tapioca? That's yes. very good. Those are delicious. And you know, actually, they have it there this morning at Wat Thai. They're still going on until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Mm. They have over two, wow. I would say almost 50 vendors was wow. there and cook authentic Thai food. I think mm. I'm going to leave here and go straight there. I'm actually going to take you over there, too. So I'm just going <laughs> to get that Thai. Don't forget us. <laughs> oh, welcome. <laughs> we'll all in that car. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Well, you know, I just want to say one thing before. I, I don't want to miss the show without talking about the rainbow that I saw. It was snowing yesterday. Did you see the snow? Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. It was raining and then it was sleeting, and then it was snowing. Well, I actually took a video of it snowing, oh, right? Aye. I sure did, because I was shocked. And it was, did you see the snow? It you was like a white Easter. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice way to put it. I had never heard of that one, but that's kind of good. Easter. So <laughs> so actually, and then last week, the, it kept, every time it rained, you would see a beautiful rainbow. Did you see the rainbow? I did. It, it was, was did right you see across it? campus. It was oh, really nice. Oh, my really? goodness. So they had the rainbow, then they had the rain, then they had the sleet, then they had the beautiful for sun. Mm -hmm. Now today is a perfect day for oh, the tie. Awesome. So how about that? So we that were surprised because they predicted it's supposed to be 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday was cold. Was it yesterday that yes. was freezing? Cold, snow, yes. and rain. Oh, and my. it was sunny. You know this interesting, I, I, I attend uh, Wat Thai DC doing the Songkhan almost every year. Mm -hmm. No matter what they predict the weather will be, Every time it turned out to be sunshine. Wow. Mm. Well, they sure had a lot of shun uh, sunshine today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll probably get to show that picture with the rainbow and the snow oh, and all that fun to stuff see that uh, later um, today when he can. And we did attend some of the Miss Earth International. Oh, Miss Earth. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yes. Did you show that, that picture a little bit? You want to talk about it when she gets here? Uh, yeah, let's talk about when she came back in mm. a, a little bit. Then. Can we do that? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to show, um, if we can, there's some pictures of Howard University, the AKAs was in, mm -hmm. um, on the um, the yard, um, having fun. And mm -hmm. do you, you familiar with them? Did you see them there on the mall? I what see is and the, I and seen the them, but I didn't see the, I see the kudos. Was, yeah, it was doing a bake sale. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were out there. <laughs> they were looking absolutely stunning. So if we mm -hmm. can show that picture of the AKAs and, mm -hmm. and represent, oh. they was in Rankin Chapel. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So I again, I was walking around. Mm -hmm putting up flyers and I just <laughs> it happened to be the day of excitement Good oh that. my goodness Maybe you, were, you expected the the Sherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> and then the uh, Sigmas, is it the st Sigmas, Gammas, is that it, yeah, right? The Sigma the Gammas. Yeah, they mm -hmm. were there too. Like, and I went up to walk up to the Blackburn and they were out on the mall looking <laughs> all blue. So I went from the pink to the blue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, everybody looks fabulous. Yeah, representing yeah. at Howard. And that's my favorite picture right there. Yeah, that's the looking beautiful. Yeah. Right. The Founders Library is absolutely, mm -hmm. um, cool. and I know you've been on campus and you've seen all the, Fabulous photos, right? <laughs> well, you know, I couldn't resist taking pictures, right? It was just so much going on on, on, on Friday. It was amazing. And so anyway, um, if we can, I don't know if we can, if we can just show that picture of um, the Sigma. They all have on blue, and, and they're looking all pretty and everything. And mm -hmm. we couldn't miss but show their picture if I showed everybody else. They <laughs> you know, I don't want to single anybody out, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, they look beautiful, too. And they was actually on the mall doing, I mean, at Howard University doing their piece as well. Mm -hmm. So, Shintana, you want to talk a little bit about um, the um, Earth 
day? Is it, oh, what's miss, it called? Oh, you miss, have a Miss Earth pageant. I think yes. she, she, let, let's talk a little bit when she gets when back. When she comes. In. But I'd like to share a little bit of the event that I attended this past week also. Please, the yes. The 26th Annual Federal. Oh, there we go. Here's the ladies. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Zetas. Yeah, the Zetas. Oh, see, I'm Zetas. messing it all up. <laughs> <I'm the Zetas. laughs> oh, Beautiful it's, color. Oh, my goodness. It <laughs> Beautiful absolutely color. stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see? let me ask you a question, then, since I'm not familiar with this. Mm. What are the two group represent? Are you it? trying to give them a trick question now? <laughs> Hold on. Well, you know, no, I'm putting them out there like that, right? Just say a little synopsis. <laughs> you said the two groups that were just shown. Mm -hmm. um, the AKA. The AKAs and the Zetas, yeah. So basically, um, D9 is really big at Howard. Like, um, historically, black colleges have different organizations that you join. And it's basically a sisterhood or okay. a brotherhood. You have fraternities and sororities. Okay. And um, it's an initiation. You go through a process. and at That's the what end, they were doing in the blue. Exactly. Yeah. That was yeah. them crossing out mm -hmm. of the process like it's a really big day on campus everybody comes to support their friends and it's a beautiful thing it's and really it was sister. really nice yeah. it really was it's nice, really nice. Really all nice. the blue and then everybody gathers around and yeah. they be running up and down and mm -hmm. doing their there's piece. a lot of love and support yeah. out there i love it i love oh, it because yeah. yeah, they were fixing their hair oh, and, yeah right what giving was them that? water when and giving them water <laughs> and, i was like wow i need to be standing up there with them. <laughs> but that's a good relationship to build isn't it as yes. you grew yeah. through yes. life you know, yeah, those exactly. are the kind of sisterhood mm -hmm. yes. that you can come together. It's a know. lifetime sisterhood, so they're your sisters for a lifetime. Exactly. So, yes. And there are a lot of organizations at Howard. Even if you don't decide to do D9, there are freshman organizations, okay. there are service mm -hmm. organizations, and it's basically just a bond, and you're exposed to a lot of opportunities through those organizations, and that's mm -hmm. why I love it. And that's why I think Howard is such a great experience for so many people, because you're exposed to so much that I feel like otherwise you wouldn't be exposed to. Oh, I yes. truly can mm -hmm. say that. It truly <laughs> is amazing. I it's amazing, amazing mm -hmm. stuff about this. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. congratulations mm -hmm. for being in such a very empower, empowered, I would say empowered powerful. group of uh, yes. young lady as well as, you know, in the future, you two going to be the lady <laughs> that leading the path <laughs> for the, you know, the next to follow. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what I want to show right now, um, if we can, can I show the picture of that rainbow and that <laughs> snow? If you can, if you can, if you have that in the queue. I it love was just to so see pretty. it. I, I didn't get to yeah, see it. This you didn't get to no, see it. I, I mean, inside. it was just so pretty. You know, uh, you was inside when it was snowing. I was yes. inside. I didn't get to see it. You didn't either. get to see no, it. it get to see That's everywhere. I'm like rainbow. I missed it. It was everywhere. It was doing all kinds of stuff, and I don't want to leave here today without showing the snow. That would be a treat. You're not gonna believe this is April, and it was literally snowing, right? So spring with the snow. Yeah. Then the, just the rainbow and everything was just so pretty. Just different days. This whole two weeks was just amazing. But just, yeah. you know, yeah, just the, the weather. The cherry blossom. You know, I still see And some. the cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had one at Howard, too. They were showing some pretty blossoms, too. Yeah. But anyway, they're, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's so a nice, right. that's a nice way. That's, that's it's a, a nice I way. Mean, it's flowing, it's flowing. It's <laughs> 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 the bees, the ocean. Oh, the ocean. <laughs> that's Tell us yeah. more about Haiti tourism. Yeah, I you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm curious to know oh, more. Tourism, yes. 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 yes, because uh, that's one of the specialty of the Caribbean, right. being the American Mediterranean. Mm. Okay, with a warm sea, okay. warm yes. ocean, mm -hmm. okay. and because that's the three things you have that attract the tourists: mm -hmm. uh, sea, sun, sand. Oh. Sea, warm sea. It isn't like in New York or Washington, close to a, a, a when you go to the a, to the ocean, it is very cold. Okay. Oh okay. wow. In Haiti, it is all around, all year around, it is warm. Wow. The water is warm. Never cold. Okay, never huh? cold. Mm -hmm. I was actually supposed to go with Danny Glover. I think it was years ago. Oh. He was having a uh, um, a cruise trip to um to haiti mm -hmm. and my sister ended up going but i didn't get to go with her so i said hopefully i'll get to go mm -hmm. one day yeah, now my question beautiful. for you do you guys have a favorite beach in haiti you have a favorite do you have oh, one? What do you have any favorite uh, in, beach? in my native town you have two different beaches okay. mm -hmm. and one they call bananier l'état i've okay, heard of that where the american officer officers from marines corp mm -hmm. and other uh, military corps used to go during the military occupation of Haiti okay. from 1915 to 1934. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is another one 
a, a little farther from my native town, they call Kokoe. Mm -hmm. It's like the coconut tree. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Okay, wow. when I go there, you can walk the far away into mm -hmm. the ocean and it doesn't arrive here. And wow. The water nice. is quiet. So also. you make sure you bring your swimwear. Hopefully you'll get <laughs> to the beach if you have some time. Right. I have a question. So have you, do you feel like there's been a lot of progress since the earthquake in Haiti? Or what yes. are some of the resources that are lacking that we could bring to the table to help mm -hmm. out in Haiti? That mm -hmm. would be awesome. Yes. Yeah. We need some there are some progress. <laughs> like a, like a mm -hmm. cleaning, uh, clean water. They have clean water. a lot of a clean Issues. water to mm -hmm. the population. Okay. They have more clean water accessible, available for the population. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. they still need uh, some care, health care. Health care. That's what you're going to That's what we're going to provide. Yes. Exactly. yes. That's exactly. awesome. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So now when they go there, they're going to be going in gun ho ready to go. Ready, ready, ready to go. To Hell make a difference. Make a difference. Yeah, that's, difference. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you other question also because, you mm -hmm. know, we are creating initiative to help bringing more awareness in terms of innovation, technology, and biotechnology to global leaders to come together on our Empower Imagination platform. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know more about Haiti. What are new or the latest technology that have been developed in Haiti that you may know of? Mm, like, I'm not a too much knowledgeable okay. about mm -hmm. technology. Okay. Because, you know, okay. I'm the all the way. But uh, I can use a computer, mm -hmm. of course, but they have the tablets. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. that's tablet. so good. That's yeah. good. That's yes. it. And then also, everybody has carry his uh, phone, oh, his yes. smartphone, the smart mm -hmm. smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> even in the countryside. <laughs> wow, okay. wow. So they use it uh, often. So I guess they can bring their phone with them and you'll still be able to get an internet online. Mm -hmm. How about that? <laughs> well, I was wondering about that because I know when I went to Nigeria, I didn't have no connection. Correct. So <laughs> part of the country mm -hmm. does Is not have that available. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's good to hear that Haiti is developing that yes, side that's of, wonderful the, to hear. of the technology, you know, in the country. So beautiful. Wow. That's really awesome. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do because I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to make it. I definitely want to show it. But yes. I went to a play last night and it was I am still your mama. So we're going <laughs> to, even though the cast is not here, I just want to give a shout out because they gave a shout out to me, of course. And we have a video of both of them giving a shout out. And I just wanted to show you and share um, some footage. And if they come, we'll just repeat it again. Keith Washington was there, Low London, uh, Daniel Robert Robertson, and then Snoop Robertson. He's the director. And so I had the opportunity to see the play, and um, it's not there anymore. It was just for one day, and they had two shows. But it was just amazing. Oh, my goodness. And it's interesting how you can watch a play and then um, put it with your own family, kind of, and how, um, especially when you have kids. Because I said to the <laughs> one of the actors, I said, you act just like my son. <laughs> but remember, it's only a play, but, you know, of course, it's real at the same time. So Me if we too. can just show uh, some of the... Um, even though Ski's not here, um, we could still show some of the pictures from the show and also that little video clip, if we can, real quick, um, from the show, I Am Still Your Mama. And that's what we all say to our kids, look, I'm still your mother, right? Can you relate to that? <laughs> you probably hear that with your mom, yeah, right? Yes. There we go. And that's the cast. And they were all in the house. And they were you know, thanking us for being out. Um, it was very, very nice, and I was on the scene, behind the scenes, in the house, Look and there that. we go. Cast. So you know, you know Keith and Robinson, that's why he was in the house. I saw them on, <laughs> you the, did? on a couple of the it news was on in the, the news. morning. Yes. Kind of go around that is correct. And this event. one here, this young lady, she was just all on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her, right? <laughs> What? And so this is the cast. And there's Leah in the house. Yes, yeah, she was in the house taking pictures, too. And so we had a wonderful time. And they did give a little shout out to us. And I don't know if we're able to play the little videos, but it was really nice. Well put together. I recommend. I mean, I'm not sure what the next uh, city is, but mm -hmm. if you do get a chance to go out and uh, see it, uh, please. I'm still your mama. Um, definitely uh, one of the best I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. And Snoop Robinson did a very good so thing. So let me 
ask you one question. What message did you learn from the show? Well, it was okay. What up? This is Keith Robinson, and I am on the scene with celebrity photographer Patricia McDougal. We are at the show. I'm still your mama. I'm playing the role of Reggie. You should be here. Hey guys, I'm Danielle Robertson and I'm on the scene with celebrity photographer Patricia McDougall and I'm here with the show I'm Still Your Mama written by Demarcus Bailey and directed by uh, Snoop Robinson and produced by Terrell Entertainment. You guys are missing an awesome show but great to be in your awesome studio. And what part do you play? I play Shakira. Hey, and you are the bomb. Thank you. Very nice yeah. shout out. Yeah, Very isn't nice. there a shout out? Yeah. You know, I had to go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what did I learn? Well, it's interesting because the, the play was actually, I want to tell the story because you might want to see it and it might come, it may become a movie. I mean, who knows, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's just a real show about family and how one lady goes to jail and how she mm -hmm. comes home and her mm -hmm. son is really not knowing who she is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, you know, we have all that situation now. But, yes. um, and the, um, the, the parent doesn't know, the son doesn't know the mother because she's mm -hmm. been away for 15 years. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, it, it was, um, it was it was just how they communicated with each other and how the mother came back and wanted to set her life straight where the son was involved with all kind of foolishness. So that's all I'm going to say. But anyway, so at the end, it was came out very nice. I don't want to tell you the end, yeah, so but it was uh, well done. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's how it played out. I want to see the yeah. photo a little bit more of the earlier that you show. Which one? The photo of when they did a shout out to you. Oh, the shout out to yeah. me? Yeah, they already showed the shout out. Which one? The one, you know, when we the group together. Oh, you want to see the group yeah, photo? Oh, the group well, photo if we can, 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 can you show that? that group photo one more time? And then she's gonna if we can show the group photos, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to show a special guest. Mm -hmm. The group photo of which one? Of the one that you with the cast together. Oh, can you show with the cast, the group showed of the cast with me sitting there pointing my finger saying, hey, I'm <laughs> and we're in the house. That's right. <laughs> we want to just talk a little bit about that picture. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we but have a special nice. guest. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, and that's Ski in the house, you know, representing. Uh, representing, yep, sure mm -hmm. is. That's okay. She's sitting there. Would you have to go? Yes. Yep, and that's a special guest as well. Yeah, and then um, when we have a moment, we're going to introduce a special guest that we have on the show with us today. Miss Monica Broken Brush, Ma thank you so much for oh. coming on today. Mm -hmm. Say hello to our audience today. Hello. Thank you so much for coming. I know you all drove all the way from Maryland to <laughs> yes. be here today. We appreciate you. I appreciate being here. <laughs> Can you, you want to turn this way, move a little closer? We yes. won't bite you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so hello, yes. Monica. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. So glad you were able to make it. <laughs> we were so one. Well, we were. We had a great time with uh, Miss Earth and Miss International pageant last Sunday, and congratulations for thank winning you. the crown for Look the regional Miss. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a tie, right? That's a tie one. Okay, He's going to come okay. out to, right. to Monica. Miss Earth, right? Miss the pictures uh, of Miss Earth. Miss Earth uh -huh. and Thank Monica, you. with your title ring, is Miss International. Am I correct? Because well, there were two pageants on the same event. Yes, there was the Miss Earth United States pageant that's as well correct. as the International Miss Regional pageant. And I actually won International oh, Miss District of Columbia. Oh, <laughs> so I was so excited. Look it's, at you. Beautiful. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so Monica, will you tell, tell our audience uh, what is your passion, what is your platform that you would like to use <laughs> as you're now you know, winning the, the position to help empower um, absolutely. Community. My platform is keeping music in public schools. I have been involved with music since I was eight years old. I'm now 36. So I've wow. been doing this for a really long time. And I'm currently a choir and music teacher at Baloo High School. <laughs> And right now, I'm actually a teacher leader there, and we actually have a research symposium coming up where I'm going to be talking about the need for stronger performing arts programs throughout the district. Because, of course, we have Duke Ellington School of the Arts, right. which has this phenomenal performing arts program. But unfortunately, our schools in Southeast District of Columbia are neglected, mm -hmm. like Baloo High School. So my platform is just to let people know how music is so important. I have two degrees in music, a bachelor's in clarinet oh performance from University Fabulous. of Cincinnati, wow. and a master's in music education from mm -hmm. West 
West Virginia University. So that's going to be what I'm going to be really advocating throughout my year of reign, just um, letting people know the importance of music. I really love teaching it, and teaching at Baloo is a challenge, but this year I've actually been teaching the kids how to play the piano, oh. and they are really getting excited about that. I had a student ask me a couple of days ago, Ms. Rokenborough, how can I take your class again next year so that I can learn more instruments? So oh. they're really starting to buy into it. So I'm just really going to be advocating that throughout the year, hoping to get sponsorship so that we can get more instruments and resources at Baloo like we have at schools like Duke Ellington. So right. that's my platform, and I'm really looking forward to promoting it. Well, they did a wonderful wow. job with the outside <laughs> of that school, and yes. also I'm sure inside is gorgeous. Yes, it's absolutely they beautiful. You turn on that one, state <laughs> of the art. Is it inside looking just as nice? Yes, it is phenomenal. Like uh, the school, I think it's over four million dollars that they put into it, wow. and so it's beautiful. Wow. And you know, we're just really trying to get our students at that school to appreciate it because, right. of course, they're not used to that. You right. know, the right. school. Even though I, this is my first year at Baloo, but I saw the old footage Baloo. of oh, the old Baloo. My. Really? <laughs> that pictures of them where they was. Cleaning it up and throwing it away, yes. and breaking it down, and now look mm -hmm. at it—it's amazing. Transformation, transformation. Absolutely. Yeah, that's and DC. something else I'm working on as a new teacher at Baloo. I am actually conducting and sponsoring the very first Miss Baloo High Pageant. Yes, I heard. <laughs> that's why I want to hear more about that. From what age yes. to what age? It is open to all of the students in the school, okay. um, all grades nine through twelve. There was a GPA requirement, so that was kind of a motivation for the young ladies to keep their grades up to stay off of the suspension list because right. they know if they got any suspensions leading up to this pageant that they would not be able to enter. Okay. So that will actually be on April 23rd at Blue High School. If anyone's interested, tickets are $10. They will be sold at the door. The ladies, they've been working really hard. They're going to compete in runway, cocktail wear, evening wear, Beautiful. photogenic, wow. as well as talent. So mm -hmm. I like this because in high school, I was never the popular girl. I was a band nerd, so I wasn't the popular <laughs> cheerleader. Wow, she could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited to give them this opportunity because normally wow. in high school, if you mm -hmm. win something, it's based on popularity. Right. So this right. time, they're going right. to have judges from outside of the building, people that they do not know. So it's not about popularity. It's going to mm -hmm. be a fair contest based mm -hmm. on who is the overall best candidate. And that's something else I'm really hoping to do during my year of reign to expand this pageant outside of Baloo mm -hmm. and actually have a Miss Southeast District of Columbia pageant to open it up to more girls in this community. Right. Because pageants can be pricey. I don't even want to think about how much money I've spent on pageants competing over the years oh, since I was 19. <laughs> Wow. And so this one, since I know a lot of these young ladies don't have money, they haven't had to pay anything for okay. it. We're bringing in a makeup artist free of charge, photographer right. free of charge. Wow. I've even brought in some clothes out of my closet free of charge for them to wear. Good so work. Really I just want to make this more expansive and okay. open, and eventually make it into a scholarship pageant mm -hmm. so that the winner can actually use some of that have like a prize money to go for their college education. So I think yeah, awesome. I think what you're doing is very crucial. It's pretty young. Mm -hmm young teen and young lady yes. that grow up to be a strong woman. So the platform like this can help empower them and know that beauty is from the within first and then oh, it shines yes. throughout the beauty outside. Absolutely. Well, that's why I put on my shirt. I am beautiful. <laughs> Let's Did see you your turn. Let's see. Beautiful. I don't think we see that. I am beautiful because I knew I was having Miss Beauty on. <laughs> 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 and so, so yes. You are yes. all beautiful and talented. <laughs> <Yes>. Absolutely. <laughs> I actually Thank had you. some of the young ladies who were on the verge of dropping out of the pageant when they saw who else was entering. They're like, oh my goodness, she's pretty. She has prettier clothes. I'm like, it's not about that. It's mm -hmm. not a beauty pageant. Like right. I said, your photos are just 20% of your score. You have Correct. to have good talent. And the most important thing in pageants that people don't realize, the portion that people don't see, is that one-on-one -on -one panel interview. That's your first impression with the judges, mm -hmm. and that's what really determines the winner. So it has nothing to do with physical beauty. It's about being articulate, being Correct. educated. And these mm -hmm. young ladies, they have to have a platform as well, too. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they're going to get this real live pageant experience free of wow. charge. And I, I like it. Like we've been rehearsing twice a week, just for one hour at a time, okay. and we've been we've gotten a lot done because none of these young ladies have ever done a pageant before, so okay. they are really learning a lot throughout this whole process about mm -hmm. just culture. Because I'm very hard on them, letting them know if you come to my rehearsal late, that's half a point off of your score. Very if you don't good. come at very all, good. Right, because that's we right. have a lot of commitment problems at that school, but okay. students just signing up for something and sticking with it. So I'm letting them know, okay, come in here late, see what happens to your score. So they're learning right. a lot about professionalism. Discipline. Yes, so it's absolutely. only open to the students in the school. Blue. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. I guess you have to start it in your own school. Maybe yes. you that might be a good movement. <laughs> and see what she's doing. Right? Yes. It's going to be awesome. phenomenal. Um, 
actually, as the choir director, I do have my website for the choir at the school. is voicesofthenight.com, night with a K, that's our mascot. Very and good. on there, if you go on the tab, there's a tab on there for the pageant. So there's a lot of information on there. There's photos of the girls on there, mm-hmm. so you can go on there and check them out. And there's just a lot of information on there about the pageant as well, too. So that way the girls can get publicity in the community, having their photos on the website. So I told them to make Very sure that nice. they love their photo because oh, it's going to live with them for a the, long oh, time. Yeah, it sure <laughs> is. Follow them after high school, too, right? Yes. Very so. Very I true. I congratulate you for what you are doing. <laughs> Thank you. You remind me a movie about uh, Anibal Escalante, mm-hmm. who was trying to uh, motivate the kids to learn calculus and math. In, in high school. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And it's a bit, be- yeah, it it's, it's a beautiful platform, like, like you said, you know, when they learn how to be disciplined, when they learn how to think outside of the traditional norm of their own culture or their own uh, family teaching, then you, the, you're teaching the young lady to realize that I'm not always going to be like this. I am developing to be a leader. Absolutely. For my family and as well as my community. That's, mm-hmm. I, Salute you for that. Yeah, well done. Awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sounds like you're doing a wonderful job. And I love the idea of teaching them uh, to be beautiful within. Correct. And not just, you know, to see it. Because, right. you know, of course, you have to have all the talent to go with it. Correct. And so I think that's awesome. So I commend you for that. Yeah. Truly. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we appreciate it. Well, I see. You have another guest coming well, it's, on. Well, we have. It's too late now. But we have Camille in the house. Even though Camille... Uh, Camille, hello. We we probably can't. Well, we don't have time for the show, but you can come and say hello. We only have five minutes. If you can say five minutes, yes. And we don't normally bring nobody in. We can introduce a real quick. Come real fast. We have five minutes. If you can give me a platform and show her little video, if we can, if we have time, uh, please. That would be awesome. Hello, Camille. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hi, hey, Camille. You? We have a treat. Good morning, my wellness show. engagers. This is Candace Camille. Wellologist. Ah, this is day 62 of the Plank Top Challenge, right? So, today I am just going to do something a little different, right? So, generally, some of the things that I do every Today is my first day on the Plank Challenge. I think I could do one. <laughs> one. Oh, two, I hope I'm doing it right. Three, wow, I think I'm in shape. Four, <laughs> five, I think I passed you, Leah. Six, seven. Well, that's <laughs> funny, <right? laughs> That was a treat. You didn't expect that one. That was fantastic. Totally, treat. totally psyched so on that. So tell us, you were psyched. See, I knew that was a treat. Oh, my so goodness. Us. Well, yes. basically, that, that was the Plank Talk Challenge and basically created. Um, we basically talk about we don't have time. Yeah. If you talk about the three major excuses of you know not working out and not taking care of yourself, most of the time it's time, it's money, mm-hmm. or for us women, it's our hair. So I wanted to come up with something that took all of those excuses off the table. Mm-hmm. So I asked you, you got a minute, because it only takes one minute to get minute. down here and plank um, for 60 seconds a day to just simply change the trajectory of your whole life, yes. of your whole well-being. So do you have a minute to really take the time to simply work on you? Because we're so busy working and doing every everything. Right. So I'm not asking you for 60 minutes. I'm not asking Told you for him. 30. Yes. I'm not asking you for 60. <laughs> I'm not asking you for 30. I'm asking you for one minute. One minute. One, one minute. minute. One minute. One minute. minute. I got the one minute. One I can minute. Do it. You I got a you minute. Can do it. So there you have it. So take a minute to take care of yourself. So basically, that's what the Think Well, Be Well uh, conference is about on April 16th. Right. Basically, bringing you in to show you how to be well in mm-hmm. one minute because it only takes one minute to feel amazing. So for more information about that, you can go to thinkwellbewellnow.eventbrite.com. Wonderful. Hope to see you on Saturday. Wow, look at that Wonderful. real fast. We even have another treat for you that somebody else, and her name is Leah. She even did the plank for you. How about that? I don't know if we have time to show it, but I just want to throw that out there. Oh, that's you wonderful. You know it killed her to do it, right? Really? And it's, yes. t- and, and it's, it's actually has gone all over. Somebody write down the plank challenge. Let's see how much I can do. Okay, so what? Uh, Reads oh, today. Leah's oh, doing her oh, plank. Can you say anything? Absolutely. How many is that, Leah? Four. <laughs> I can't see you. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Okay. I mean, you know, that was a treat for her because I knew she would get a chuckle. Oh, I that did. One. The fact that you do it two minutes, one minute. The that was it, years, right? Yeah. That was it. I do it every day. Today is actually day 101 for me. So I have been planking for 100 days. Well, we love it. We love it. Well, I'm going to get started. Today's my first day, and so is Leah's, and we're going to make it work. And I'm just going to just, I don't know if I show my videos every day, but I won't be planking. So, you know, we really appreciate you coming out and, and sharing. And uh, oh, letting us see what you do because I'm excited about next week too. I'll be in the house and oh, I'll be taking be on the scene pictures and highlighting yeah, I can't the wait. show. I, can't well, wait. I want to thank all my special guests for coming out. And this is Lionel. He's actually the last name I'm not going to pronounce. I'll let him pronounce it. You see, he's from Haiti. He's visiting. He's actually from he from Haiti right. visiting. And then we also have. Monica Brokenborough. All right, Miss and she's <laughs> right, International Miss, Miss District of Columbia. Yes, wow. and Shantana, of course, my co-host. She's always in the house representing. So we thank her always for being here. And so, Candice, you let them know where they can find you, right? Yes, you can find me on CandiceCamille.com, actually, or on social media at The Wellologist. I am on every social platform from Pinterest to Instagram to Facebook to Twitter um, on at The Wellologist. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Patricia McDougall on the scene live, celebrity photographer. Thank you for chiming in. Thank you. the songs? Which is your favorite? Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes song. Hey, where are you? At the White House? Are you having fun? Oh, wonderful. Leah, what do you think about this? Say hello. This is, I'm videotaping you. Say hello. Hi. How's it feel to be at the White House, Jasmine? It's good. You waiting, who are you waiting for? Of course. Leah, what about you? Who are you waiting for? Oh, right. Yeah. That's a, who did you just see? Shaq. Shaq. Did you see Shaq? Did you get footage? And Monica. And Monica. Monica, anybody else coming through? I'm yeah. here. What, what about me? I'm just kidding. Girls in the house. <laughs> <laughs>